When they say, never underestimate the power of youth, they could very well be talking about Mr. Lee Chi Kun. Today, we are very global. We have businesses in US, Europe, Australia, Japan, Korea. We need to make sure that our people are all guided by the same value system in the way we deal with different stakeholders, in the way we look at investments. Despite his relatively young age, he heads one of Asia's largest real estate companies. After several key positions in the company, Mr. Lee became Group CEO of Capital Land Limited in September 2018, when he was just 43 years old. Mr. Lee brought with him a people-focused leadership approach that was collaborative, consultative, and at the same time, bold and fearless. Traits that would prove crucial in the immediate years ahead. The key thing about, about being a CEO, you have to understand that it's always about the team and any organization is only as good as the people that we can have. How do we build a great organization? How do we build, build a strong culture where everybody you know, is uh, aligned in terms of the vision, uh, galvanized by the value system and then just continues to run? I mean, that's my fundamental belief. Now meet Miguel Ko, Manoha Kiatani, and Andrew Lim who sat down for a chat with Mr. Lee about several strategic transformations he helmed after becoming CEO. One of these major milestones was the acquisition of Ascenders Singbridge in 2019. And in the same year, Ascenders Hospitality Trust became a part of Ascot Residence Trust, forming the largest hospitality trust in the Asia Pacific. We really needed to transform the, the company and the Center Sim Bridge was a uh, right fit because it helped us to deepen our development capabilities and also help us to bulk up on the asset management side of the business. It was the biggest uh, transaction in Asia. It's about $11 billion, Singapore dollars. Besides from merger asset classes, it's a merger of people and culture. So I take a lot of confidence in that. I think Chi Tung should take a lot of credit in that because clearly if the leader does not believe in that, I don't think the organization will be able to, uh, to forge forward. No one could have predicted COVID-19. The pandemic would prove to be the ultimate test for the young CEO, who was leading the charge for change in a world that was itself changing. The management and the board all felt that the most important thing to do is to make sure that health, safety, well-being of our people, our customers, our stakeholders are the most important thing. If you lose money, I think you can always make better money. But if you lose life, and it's totally irreplaceable. The safety of our staff and our tenants is paramount and we should just do the best that we can do and, and learn along the way. And I think that's very much the philosophy that we, yeah. that we used throughout the crisis. And also, you know, safely bringing in migrant workers from overseas location to Singapore. So that had nothing directly to do with capital then, but we felt that we had to do it as part of the community. You know, that's the moral compass, you know, that we, that through Chikun we have also set for our company. I think during that uh, whole COVID period, uh, Chikun presented a proposal to ask all the senior management of the company uh, to take a salary cut. And I know how hard they've been working during that uh, time period. So I joked with him, I said, Chikun, remember, this is the year you're going to be working the hardest but taking home the least. <laughs> so uh, he just nodded and said, uh, that's part of the job. As a firm believer of the wisdom, never let a crisis go to waste. The group not only survived the pandemic lockdowns, but thrived and emerged from the ordeal stronger than before. Under Mr. Lee's direction, the group completed several other transformational deals during the pandemic. Most notable of these included the formation of Capital Land Integrated Trust in 2020 and the restructuring of Capital Land in 2021. Today, Capital Land Investments is a leading global ream with a strong Asia foothold. As at 30th June 2022, the company had about $125 billion of real estate assets under management and about $86 billion of real estate funds under management. Its diversified real estate asset classes cover retail, office, lodging, business parks, industrial, logistics, and data centers. You are actually quite a flexible leader. There are times when you are incredibly decisive. 
you'll come to me and you'll say, hey, I know what we need to do. And within three minutes, there's a set of marching orders. Uh, but there are also many times, and I think all of us have heard him say this, I don't know what the right answer is with the arms like this. You are here to obtain a meritocracy of ideas. It has to come from the person who has the idea. And you are seeking that best idea from as wide a source as you can find. And it's all in aid of taking CLI to the next level and what is best for the company. And I think that makes you in a very effective leader. And I believe uh, the company has uh, under Chi Kun uh, and also the predecessor before a very high level of standard uh, of governance. And I think we truly believe that we have a strategy that is sound, that is able to be executed from Chi Kung and then the people that now been put together in the last few years uh, under uh, Chi Kung. We do strongly believe that we have the people to execute. And indeed, Mr. Lee hopes to leverage Capital Land Investments' full stack of investment management and operating capabilities, as well as Capital Land's well-established ecosystem, to forge forward and stay ahead of its competitors. And from what we've seen Mr. Lee do in the last few years, the future has never looked more exciting.